For our countdown to Sunday series, we are highlighting a sport that's rising in popularity. I'm talking about flag football. It's a safer alternative for parents who don't want their kids playing tackle football. Organized leagues have exploded in recent years, and it will become an Olympic sport for both men and women in 2028. For those who aren't familiar with the sport, here's how it works. So the guy with the ball, he tries to avoid the defender, which will be Tony, before he can actually ah! grab the flag, no! just like he did, and then try to score. So it's like tackle without the contact. So all the athletes that are playing this sport are getting a boost from their coaches and league organizers. And why is this sport so popular? Well, we found out from Chris Van Cleve. Go for me, go for three, one, two, three. Go! High school senior Nyjah Green is a force on the football field. She grew up playing the sport, but as she got older, there just weren't a lot of options for girls. There's this sense that football is kind of a boys sport. I would disagree. <laughs> Tell but me why. Girls can do the same thing as boys, literally. Like, when all the boys be out, they be low-key watching our games. Like, they be watching like, oh, shoot, she, she can actually catch. She can actually go up for the ball like I can. She signed up immediately when Arizona became one of eight states to add flag football as a varsity sport last year. 22 other states are now considering similar action, and Green is planning to continue her flag football career in college. What's it meant to be able to just keep to keep playing and now it now maybe be able to do it in college too? It's amazing. Like I never I never expected this. I always had to play with the boys. I was always playing with it was never girls. A handful of small universities are adding flag football and offering player scholarships, prompting one of the first female flag football player combines to be held in Houston. With 52 women from across Texas last month hoping to impress college coaches. The NFL is helping the game's expansion with funding and a massive marketing push. NFL Flag has organized more than 1,800 leagues with nearly 700,000 players nationwide. Women make up 25% of the athletes and are the game's fastest growing segment. It's making those establishments or making those advancements for women's sports and finally getting recognized. Last year, nearly half a million girls ages 6 to 17 played flag football, a 63% increase from 2019. There are now more than 15,000 girls playing flag football at more than 700 high schools. It's brought young women into the sport and given them a chance to play, which I think is incredibly valuable. You're going to start seeing this thing grow a lot more and really have an opportunity to play big-time Division I football back to quarterback. Lorenzo Alexander is a two-time NFL Pro Bowl linebacker. He played 15 seasons in the NFL. Toes on the line, toes on the line. But he'll tell you he's having more fun coaching his daughter's flag football team. His young sons are playing too. Good, break on it. I didn't let my sons play tackle, but this was a great alternative where they could still learn the game, get out here, work on their athleticism, and really maybe you can get a leg up on some guys that played primarily tackle football. This is one of NFL Flag's largest regional tournaments. Nearly a thousand kids ages 8 to 17 from eight states. The teams that win here, they go on to the NFL Flag Championship Series. Those are played at the NFL Pro Bowl. Gotta go. Pull the flag. Pull the flag. The pace is quick. Everyone on offense except the quarterback is eligible to catch and run with the ball. And defenders, instead of tackling, are trying to pull the offensive player's flag. A 2021 CDC study found kids between 6 and 14 sustained 15 times more head impacts playing tackle football than flag football. Kids playing tackle also experienced 23 times more high magnitude head impact events each season. A lot of people like the kind of sort of lighter nature of the sport. And yes, there's running and diving and potential risk of injury there, but it's less severe impacts, um, less collisions, and that's really appealing to a lot of people. People like Nyjah Green who hopes flag football keeps her on the gridiron for years to come. Ready, Ready set, go. All right. For CBS Mornings, I'm Chris Van Cleve in Glendale, Arizona. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Oh. There we go. There we go. He was like, all right. Chris, the whole, cool. the whole story is saying, is Chris going to do it? Is Chris going to do it? Yeah, he did it. Yeah. I love that boys and girls can mm -hmm. do this. I love yeah. this. And, and it's a great uh, introduction for those who want to learn the game. Yes. You know, you have all of the elements of tackle football without the hits. Without getting hurt. Yeah. So then after that, you can decide if you want to put the pads on and take it a step further. But, Nate, is it as fun, do you think? As someone oh, else? yeah. It's, it's really it fun. It is as fun? Yeah. And, and, and now these leagues are being sanctioned. They have it in high school now. The Olympics are coming soon. Okay. It's awesome for the sport. It's a great time. You should have come out and played with us earlier yeah. today.
Yeah, I, was, you... I, was, I was putting on lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting All right. Ready. We, we do need cheerleaders, though. All right, I mean, here's a reminder. Uh, it's a huge football weekend. You can watch the Chiefs and Ravens face off this Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern right here on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. And we are just two weeks out from Super Bowl 58. Also airing where? Uh, CBS. CBS.